Welcome to Ms Mojo and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Bachelor contestants who should have won. I didn't think it was possible for there to be a better connection than what we had. For this list, we'll be looking at all of our favourite runners-up and more, who should have taken home the crown. If we missed any of your favourite would-be ring winners, let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Becca Tilly, The Bachelor It was difficult to watch Becca Tilly slowly realise that maybe Bachelor Chris Souls wasn't what she wanted. And I'm scared of that. If I'm not at a certain place that I'm supposed to be at, does that mean that this has to end. Becca competed on season 19 of The Bachelor and quickly became a fan favourite. She made it all the way to the finals, leaving Chris to choose between her and eventual winner Whitney Bischoff. Throughout the season, it seemed like Chris was a bit more into Becca than she was into him. I can't make any promises and I don't know when that's... You when can't make any promises in regards... On a timeline of when I would be ready to move and pick up my life. Things ended up not working out because Becca didn't seem ready to move to Iowa, although Chris much later said that he probably would have chosen her if she had been. If Becca was ready, to, if she's like, I'm going to that farm, sign me up, would you have chosen her? I think you would have. Yeah, I, I would have. <laughs> Seems things certainly have worked out for Becca though, she announced that she's been dating singer Hayley Kiyoko for years. Number 9. Andrew Spencer – The Bachelorette From the moment Andrew Spencer stepped out of the limo on Bachelorette Katie Thurston's season, there was no doubt in our mind he would go far. Just look at that smile! What I'd like to say is you look absolutely exquisite and I can't wait to finally meet you more inside. Thank you! <laughs> nice <laughs> to meet you! Nice to meet you, I'm actually from Chicago. I it! <laughs> Katie and Andrew seemed to vibe right from the beginning, and he made it all the way to week seven before getting eliminated. But before he went home, Andrew had one last surprise for Katie. <laughs> he left a note on her doorstep, telling her that if she changed her mind, he would be around. Katie proceeded to literally run after this man before asking him if he would like to stay. <sighs> Ultimately, Andrew decided it was too late, but if you've got the bachelorette chasing after you, yeah, maybe you should have won. But I want my future wife to choose me and, you know, I wasn't chosen, so I had to say no. Number 8. Madison Pruitt, The Bachelor I'm just like so pumped and just so excited for an incredible day with Peter. One of many switcheroos to come. Madison Pruitt competed on season 24 of The Bachelor, vying for Peter Pilot Pete Webber's heart. She made it all the way to Fantasy Sweet Week, but that's when things started to get difficult. Madison told Peter that she would not say yes to his marriage proposal if it turned out that he had slept with other women on the show. If next week you were to like sleep with somebody else, like it would be really hard for me to like um like really like move forward in this. Of course he had, which threw a wrench into their relationship. Peter ended up choosing Hannah Ann Sluss, but it was pretty clear all along he wanted to choose Madison. So, Madison, uh, she actually left two days ago. Or maybe he really wanted to choose Kelly Flanagan, who he started dating after the show aired. Honestly, sounds like Peter had a lot to sort out. Number 7. Taysha Adams, The Bachelor Barring the fence jump, iconic, we'd rather forget about Colton Underwood's season of The Bachelor altogether. But we have to admit, it did give us some incredible contestants. Taysha Adams for one. This whole thing has just made me realise that I am falling in love with you, and I do appreciate you so much, and I, I want you to know that. When Cassie Randolph self-eliminated from the show, Colton realised that he didn't want to keep stringing along the other two women who were left. My heart's with somebody else. I love Cassie. 
when he broke up with Taisha, he had such a hard time getting through it that she ended up being the one to try and make him feel better. Don't cry, please. <sighs> Honestly, we didn't actually want Taisha to end up with Colton. Being the Bachelorette is a much better deal, but we just think she deserved better than this. <sighs> Number six, Hannah Godwin, The Bachelor. We're in Alabama. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Speaking of Taisha and Colton, let's check in with the other points of the triangle, shall we? Hannah Godwin seemed tailor-made to win The Bachelor. Seriously, it feels almost like she stepped out of a lab or something. So, yeah. Hannah, will you accept this, Rose? Absolutely. This, like, means seriously the world to me. Unfortunately, however, it just wasn't meant to be. She ended up facing the same fate as Taisha, dumped so Colton could try to figure things out with Cassie. Yeah. That's what I do. I make everybody better and they don't want to stick around. Although Hannah G didn't get the opportunity to win, let's not feel too bad for her. She ended up finding love on Bachelor in Paradise with Dylan Barber, and the two are engaged as of 2022. You're my fiance. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Thanks, Rose. It's so pretty. Number five, Blake Horseman, The Bachelorette. If only Blake had actually won this show, maybe things wouldn't have gone so poorly for him later on. And honestly, Becca, I am falling in love with you. Blake Horseman competed on Becca Kufrin's season of The Bachelorette and immediately made an impression. He was cute, he was funny, and he almost made it all the way. Unfortunately, as he was delivering a beautiful, heartfelt proposal to Becca in the season finale, she told him it was a no-go. There's just one piece with somebody else that I am not ready to say goodbye to yet. Unfortunately for Becca, her relationship with winner Garrett Irgoyen didn't last and was marred by controversy. Maybe Becca would have been better off with Blake, and maybe Blake wouldn't have hooked up so often at Stagecoach. I did not know you felt this way. Of course I felt this way. Do I we didn't like... know. Number four, Trista Wren, The Bachelor. It's time to celebrate an OG. Nice to meet you, I'm Trista. Nice to meet you, Trista. Yeah. I am a true romantic, and I think, I do believe in love at first sight. I think that it can happen. It just never has happened yet. Back when The Bachelor premiered in 2002, it wasn't quite the reality television juggernaut it is now. Many fans probably don't remember the names of a lot of those early contestants or leads. Trista. Trista, will you accept this rose? I will. Thank you. But if there's one you do remember, it's probably Trista. She competed on the first ever season of the show, vying for Bachelor Alex Michaels' heart. Did you fake it ever? So, the weather is really nice. <laughs> she was clearly the most beloved, interesting, and funny contestant that season, but unfortunately, that wasn't enough to win over Alex. Lucky for Trista, now Trista Sutter, she went on to become the first bachelorette and is still with her ring winner. <laughs> Perfect. You're an absolute natural. <laughs> That's more than we can say for Alex. Number three, Tyler Cameron, The Bachelorette. If there was ever a bonehead moment on The Bachelorette, not choosing this guy was it. I want to give this all like my very best and be like the best Hannah. I just like, I can't we don't, be. We, we don't need the best, we don't need the real Hannah. Yeah, I know. And I got that today and I adored that today. Tyler Cameron has become one of the most popular figures in Bachelor Nation and got his start in the franchise on Bachelorette Hannah Brown's season. Tyler proved himself to Hannah and fans early on as not only a certified hottie, but a pretty great guy as well. I think I'm really at a point where I'm really accepting of who I am and ready to give myself to somebody else. He made it all the way to proposals, but Hannah ended up going with Jed Wyatt, and we all know how that turned out. That's not what I said yes to. But the story of Hannah and Tyler wasn't over yet. During After the Final Rose, she asked him out on a date. Girl, you could have just picked him the first time. I just thought maybe we could go for a drink and just hang out. I would love to, just tell me when, I'm there. <laughs> 
Number two, Molly Mullaney, The Bachelor. It's kinda amazing how often bachelors and bachelorettes don't always make the right decision the first time around. So going back to that final day, what I realized is I was falling for two people at the same time. We saw this with Pilot Pete previously on this list, and we also saw it with Ari Lion Dyke Jr. If Ari picked Lauren Burnham the first time around, it could have saved everyone a lot of heartache. The more I hung out with you, the more I felt like I was losing the possibility of maybe reconciling things with Lauren. But the original and most infamous poor decision goes to season 13 bachelor Jason Mesnick. Jason originally proposed to Melissa Rycroft, but during After the Final Rose, he revealed that he still had feelings for Molly Mullaney. I came here to find somebody to spend the rest of my life with, without a doubt. And somebody who brings out the best in me in a way that I've never felt before. You are that right person. Molly and Jason are now married, and she goes by Molly Mesnick. But we just wish these people would pick right the first time. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mike Johnson, The Bachelorette. We hope Mike finds his queen. I know that I'm ready for love. I know that I was opening my heart up to Hannah, and I know that she crushed me. Jojo Fletcher, The Bachelor. Bachelorette plus Jordan equals pretty good consolation prize. There's a lot going on, but what I can say is that I will do whatever it takes on my end to make it work. And I trust you, and I have so much faith in you and I. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Tenley Molzahn, The Bachelor. I want somebody who wants all of me and wants me to love them as much as I can. And I want to be loved by that person as much as they can possibly love me. From the beginning of Bachelor Jake Pavelka's season, Tenley Molzahn seemed poised to win. She received the first impression rose on night one, and she and Jake seemed to have great chemistry. I'm a consumer. I don't want to put lipstick works all over you. <laughs> But despite receiving a pretty heavy villain edit, another contestant, Vienna Girardi, ended up winning Jake's heart. Tenley, with her sweet and kind nature, was utterly devastated. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something just doesn't feel right. Later on, Jake and Vienna split in a highly publicized and highly contentious breakup, proving maybe they weren't so right for each other after all. And, and if you if I don't know you, then please why are stop we... interrupting me. <laughs> the thing is, Tenley went on to appear on other Bachelor shows and is now married and took her husband's last name, Leopold. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.